Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be looking at Bitmain's new release of what they're saying is a Casper miner. So they haven't actually released any formal statement or anything and I got this from Red Panda Mining. I just saw it on Twitter and I thought I'd make a video. So there's just a picture of the firmware download here, Casper and Miner KS3 is what they're calling it. So when you go over to the Bitmain shop and supports on downloads for the firmware list, you can see listed in here is Casper K heavy hash. And then if you click on this, it's Antminer KS3. So it is confirmed that they have firmware list and updated for this new ASIC, which they're going to be producing. Now I thought that Gold Shell or IB Link would get onto this before Bitmain because Bitmain's a massive company and they obviously did the calculations and thought it's very profitable for us to make a Casper miner. And they clearly believe in Casper coin, otherwise they wouldn't make an ASIC for it. And this has led me to the question of what are people going to do with their Ice River products that they bought? Because Bitmain is probably going to make a superior product to Ice River. As we can see here, Ice Rivers are extremely profitable as well in terms of Terahash. I think the ROI on just this alone, if you had one, I know basically nobody has one of these apart from Red Panda Mining, but if you had one, you'd be making around seven to eight hundred dollars per day depending on the price of casper coin at the time now this is extremely high and extremely efficient miner so if this random company called ice river that's come out of nowhere can produce such a product like this there's got to be a way that bitmain has this technology to produce a better one than this because they have loads of money you know they have loads of r d going into different coins and better equipment and better chips so it wouldn't be a stretch to say that Bitmain could produce a better product than this Ice River company. Now there was a little bit of thought in my mind that this Ice River is called the KS2. And then if we go back, this is called the KS1 and the KS0. And then when we click on Bitmain shop, this is called the KS3. So I don't know how they named it. That could just be a generalization, like you just call it KS3. Like we have the super scalar called the K10, if, as we can see here. Super Scalar K10. Maybe it's just how they wanted to name it, but it seems a bit odd because why would they make KS3 when they would have a KS1? They wouldn't have one miner. They'd only have... Bitmain would only be making one miner, not three versions of it. So I don't want to go out on a stretch here, but this could be some kind of Bitmain offshoot where people have been working in the Bitmain shop and they've basically taken this product that Bitmain was going to release and they're selling it on Ice River. That could be a potential, but that's a stretch that I'm just going for just based on the name of these, as is the KS0, KS1, KS2. Like, where did they think of that name? And then when did Bitmain think of their KS3 name, you know? And it just so happens that KS3 is the next one above the KS2. Anyway, so for those people that have bought Ice River products, it's probably not going to be as good as Bitmain's product, I'm just going to go out there and say that when it does come out. Bitmain will probably produce a better product. And if it is stolen product, if this is stolen product, then the KS3 is probably going to be better than these two or three miners. So you can't get a hold of the KS2 as they've sold out. Obviously, they've made a lot of money selling these miners. It's $30,000 per miner. So those have all been sold out. However, for the KS1 and the KS0, we can see that they are still in stock. You can actually buy them now. You can just click on the Ice River KS1. You can input and you can click on shop now. So their payment methods is USD, Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT. Now there obviously was talks of how they're producing such large terahash with such low efficiency. I wouldn't recommend buying Ice River products because this company has basically come out of nowhere. However, when Bitmain drops theirs, that's probably a good buy. You know, you can rely on Bitmain. They've never really let miners down in terms of what the product they produce you know they always display the actual figures and how that they've got there and you know the efficiency of them so these asic miners actually ship out on june 15th to june 30th so we'll actually have to wait until then to see if people actually get the product and start using it to see if it's real i have a feeling that it could be real now the ks1 and the ks2 maybe not but the ks0 is theoretically like kind of a buy that you would just buy just because it's really efficient, you know what I mean? You could theoretically justify spending 1,700 to get that ROI back if you got it in time. So these Ice River products are 
extremely better than any other thing that we've seen on the market. As we can see here, I just showed that earlier, the Superscalar K10 only does 30 giga hash at 1,700 watts, and it costs a total of 9,000 pounds, which is around, you know, $9,500. So that was the first ASIC that we actually seen for Casper Coin, and then they're talking down by here about the E300 FPGA boards. Now, these have already been tested and people have got these. These are actually a good buy. They're pretty efficient. The ROI of them is around six months, depending on the Casper Coin price right now. But overall, you could just buy three FPGAs and put them on a crypto mining rig. It's just this is, you know, ease of access. So it's easier to set up and plug in and play. That's why Osprey Electronics has put it together. It's basically easier for miners that don't really have the, not exactly the information, but the knowledge to put together and set up bit streams and stuff like that. So I'd say that the E300 is a good buy if you don't really know how to set up FPGAs. But if you do know how to set up an FPGA, then just buy three of these boards and put them on a crypto mining rig. Anyway, lastly, I want to talk about the Casper hash rate. So what does this mean, all these ASICs coming on the network? And what does it mean for profitability? So right now we're at around 1.12 peta hash. So we've just came... So we're just kind of steadying out at one peta hash right now. We had that jump back in April, which really took Casper off. And then we saw the price jump and people got on the network. So these Ice River products, as we said here, this one does two tera hash. So let's, in theory, say that they've sold 100 units and they all get onto the network. That would mean an extra 200 tera hash. Let's say that they've sold 100 of the KS1s as well. That would equal another 100 terahash on the network. So overall, 300 terahash from both the KS2 and KS1s coming onto the network. So the network's at 1.14 right now. It would up the network hash rate to around 1.4 petahash on the network, which is a big jump. That's around 30% of the network hash rate overall. So this would, in theory, you know, the difficulty would decrease the profits by 30%. So Casper Coin is probably going to get pushed out for GPU miners. You know, it's inevitable. And with Bitmain coming in, they're going to be producing superior products and probably selling them at a slightly lower price than the Ice River. So people will be buying these products. So for the most part, I think GPU miners have had their time on Casper Coin. If you want my opinion, I'd just say keep mining on your GPU if it's slightly profitable or even if it's under profitability right now, just stack those coins before ASICs and FPGAs take over the network. Because FPGAs are already having great success, we're just waiting for ASICs to come on. There'll probably be a majority of the network in around six to eight months if Bitmain come out quickly with their version of the ASICs for Casper Coin. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to comment your thoughts on this new ASIC from Bitmain and your thoughts on how ASICs will affect the Casper network.